My company uh, Polyterrans uh, upcycles the defeated seeds uh, to make uh, our meals healthier and feed the growing population. We are the team of uh, food and culinary scientists and engineers, and we previously formulated and sold more than one million servings of traditionally complete drinks. Uh, and sourcing the new formulation, new ingredients for our new formulations, we stumbled upon defeated seeds. It's a dry matter that's left after oil was extracted uh, from uh, uh, canola, sunflower, or cotton seed. What got my attention uh, is the price. I remember I used to pay $5,000 for the metric ton of uh, soy protein. Here I could spend only $170. $5,000 and $170. Why are the defeated seeds so cheap? Uh, because uh, the high in fiber, uh, low in resin, uh, and uh, green color makes it unappetizing. Uh, so, uh, crush plants, all they have to do is to sell it for animals. But, you know, the animals cannot feed the world. Uh, animal agriculture already occupies 80% of farm land, uh, yet providing 20% of calories. If you can come to any business school, you will be advised to do the opposite. Uh, in addition uh, to the uh, growing population, healthy choices and concerns about the climate change drive demand for the plant-based proteins. Uh, all these factors created a perfect opportunity uh, for upcycling uh, defeated seeds from animal for human consumption. Our suppliers loved when we came them uh, to buy the defeated seeds for human consumption. Uh, but it didn't stop us at the University of Minnesota. Uh, using steam explosion, we broke the fiber and make the protein available for humans. Uh, we uh, balanced the uh, amino acid profile and increased the protein quality from PDCAS 50 to up to 85. And we found a way how to get rid of the green color. Once uh, the uh, Millennium Lab uh, certified our nutrition facts, we filed better applications uh, for the process, the ingredient, and key product formulations. The ingredient we got, uh, we call it some meal, it's a nutritious substitute for the all-purpose flour. Uh, it has lower costs uh, than isolated proteins. Uh, it uh, has more uh, protein and fiber compared to other flours, and it's sustainable. Uh, you don't need to grow more crops, you need more uh, gases, and uh, occupy more land. Uh, and if you work in the marketing department, you will like the uh, uh, allergen free, non GMO, and uh, the uh, clean label uh, status uh, of the better seeds. How big is the market? Uh, Nielsen shows uh, that uh, plant based proteins uh, drive uh, sales in stagnating and even declining categories. It looks like we have a huge upside in front of us, but will they eat it? Yesterday, we would ask it, uh, so advised to ask customers customers, will you eat something made? from the previous uh, animal feed. Uh, to answer this question, uh, we applied and were accepted to uh, Techstars Accelerator last year, and with their help, uh, we developed an MVP from our ingredient, sunflower, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, sunflower chips with a triple amount of protein, double amount of uh, fiber, and less uh, fat compared to potato chips. During the demo day, we raised money for market tests, and once we launched it on Amazon, we saw three months growth in a row. Now, it's obvious, <laughs> uh, there's no prejudgment, and everybody wants to uh, use our ingredients for their formulations. Let's talk about the business. Uh, currently, Crush Plants uh, sell the uh, defeated seeds, sunflower defeated seeds, uh, for roughly $200 <laughs> per metric ton. If they repurpose it for the human consumption, they can get 900. We want to help them upcycle defeated seeds and share the added value. Uh, to make it, uh, we need 950k uh, to make the scalability tests and manufacture our uh, first commercial run. So, uh, if you want to lead that uh, round, please uh, find me on the booth. Let's talk. Uh, and if you want to try the chips that you made us from our let's see, so you can see uh, the samples there on that side and here as so. well. Thank you very much.